everybody. It's Roxana with Past, Present Herbs. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the benefits of hawthorn leaves and berries. And I'm really excited about this because this is a beautiful tree or bush. There is also about 200, over 200 I know of, uh, different varieties of this tree. Um, it's a big, beautiful tree. It has, um, it's kind of uh, categorized as a shrub. Um, and um, in this time of year, around um, April, um, I'll say late April, May, it puts off uh, beautiful rose-like petals and um, they are like pink and white and um, then in the in the late I think it goes to June July uh, all the way to um, I believe October it starts putting on big bright um, red berries and I have a picture here on the outline it's beautiful but um, if anybody knows or have heard about um, hawthorn leaves and berries, it is a beautiful, beautiful tree and it's very, very hardy. It's a very hardy. But today in this video, we're going to be talking about the benefits of the, the physical benefits. Um, it can go on um, talking about the emotional benefits, but today we're just going to be talking about the physical benefits of this hawthorn. Um, Wonderful. Uh, for years, hawthorn has, has helped protect against heart disease. And um, the what it does is it helps people with uh, high blood pressure, high, high cholesterol, and they've done animal studies for years, both human and in animal studies. And um, it increases the coronary artery blood flow, increases circulation, and lowers blood pressure. And um, from time to time, please excuse me, I'm, I'm going to look down, but I'm also going to look up, so excuse me. Um, the Latin name is Criticulus oxycoda, conda, <laughs> excuse me. Um, studies have shown around the world um, that the berries improve the tone of the heart muscle and improve the oxygen and uptake which is just absolutely wonderful. It improves um, the circulation, it energizes the heart cell and dilates the blood vessels in the lower parts of the body. And um, it reduces the strain overall of the heart, which is really good when your heart is having to work really hard. Um, so that is, that's a really good thing. Um, and if you just did that right there, if you, haven't been able to figure out um, this is this is like a really good um, excellent herbal food to be taken to build up your heart muscle and we all know that it is a muscle your heart hawthorn needs to be taken on a regular basis in in order for it to be counted safe this is a very safe herb um, hawthorn is used used to reduce the stress if you've ever just like worked out and you've worked out and you've worked out and you're really, really tired and your muscles need to recover. So you take something to help to recover. And that's the same thing with your heart. Your heart has this, this kind of helps your heart to recover and, and to restore. It's really great um, for people with digestion. Um, a lot of people will have digestion that have heart issues and so this is great um, for people with heartburn any kind of um, problem in here they take hawthorn and it helps with their digestion the dosage like if you're going to you can make this as a tea and um, you can drink it um, three to four times a day all the way up to five times a day um, you can do the berries turn it into a syrup um, there are all kinds of ways that you can do this. I've made a tincture. This tincture um, is not ready yet for a couple more weeks. And 
I got the recipe for this tincture. It is very easy to make a tincture. You can do it with fresh, um, um, fresh leaves um, and flowers. Um, I got this recipe from um, Making Plant Medicine with Rico Check, and you can get this book off of Amazon or you can get it from his website. Um, I will put this down in the description below. This is a very good book. Um, he has um, books that help you make tinctures or talk to you about glycerins, glycerides. Um, if tinctures are not your cup of tea, you can actually make this in a glycerite form. And it's um, just according to what you like. Um, I always tell people, if you don't want to do a tincture, you can take it in a capsule form. And he's got all different ways that you can take this Hawthorne. And so um, if you know somebody that might need to take this, um, I prefer tinctures over a glyceride or a capsule, but I, I've done both. I've done both. And there's other herbs I always tell people also, it's really good to consult with a naturopath or an herbalist, whoever you can consult with in your area, because you may have another underlying condition. Sometimes they may have you fill out some paperwork. Um, and there's some really good complementary herbs that go really good with Hawthorne, like garlic or ginger or sorrel, and they work really good together with Hawthorne. And Hawthorne is just a good food, like other herbs that work really good, that is considered a food, but it's also considered an herb as well. And so um, I always seek good advice from a practicing herbalists that you know, that you trust in your area. Most cases, um, I'm gonna give you this um, from a, another book. It's um, a naturopath book. Um, it's a gentleman, um, it's a natural healing book. Um, and he says, most, most cases the heart is not strong and it's lack of exercise and poor circulation the heart is weak, maybe from malnutrition. Um, there's not good. Um, there's not good a supply of blood that goes in and out of the heart. The heart is a muscle, but it's a vital organ in our body. And so he said, um, do whatever you can to prevent heart disease. And this is all the way back from 1969. He says, so get up, do some walking and get proper nutrition, do what you have to do to take care of your body and to seek good herbal practices in your life. And that's my advice. I always, I always say, you know, we gotta get up, we gotta get out in the garden, we gotta get some fresh air, get some sunshine, and do some herbal implement, implementing into our life. So I hope that you um, do these things that you can always like if you are on some kind of heart medication, take this advice, um, go to your doctor and tell them what you would like to do. But if they say, we just don't want you to do it, then please do what your doctor tells you to do. But this has been a great, I, lo I love um, talking about herbal medicine and herbal food because that's what this is. This is a food and it's a medicine. But I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I hope you do your own research because this is just really um, just a joy for me. And I hope um, you come back because we're going to be doing this tincture. I'm going to strain out this tincture and we are going to find out what to do with it next. Okay, you guys have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hi everybody, it's Roxana here at Past Present Herbs. And today I just wanted to come on and thank everybody who watches my channel. And it's not just a channel, it's not just a YouTube channel, even though I have a YouTube channel, but this is my personal ministry. Um, 
it really means a lot to me. Everybody that views this channel, if you're a subscriber or if you're just somebody who visits frequently, I really appreciate each and every person that stops by, listens to the information. Um, I'm very serious about the education that I put forth. I do a lot of research um, behind every video. I like going out into the garden. Um, this is something that's been a long time, um, kind of a vision and a dream of mine. And today I'm endorsing one of my products. Um, I do have a website and I do have a storefront on my website. I have um, kind of like a blog where I go in and I put my videos out there. Sometimes when I'm shooting my videos, I forget to talk about my website and I forget to talk about uh, the products that I do sell on my um, uh, website. So I thought I would do a separate video and I would talk about, <clears throat> this is an upcoming um, tincture. I really love tinctures. Um, I love teas and tinctures both. And so I thought I would do just a quick um, video and I would uh, talk about the reason that I really love uh, tinctures and the upcoming one that I'm going to be putting on my website. You may notice I have a lot of tinctures and um, <clears throat> the reason I like tinctures so well and they, they work really well with me is glycerites. I've used glycerites, but glycerites um, have a sweet taste and I really am not a sweet type person. I do have a sweet tooth, but I don't I generally like taking them in the form of medicine because of the fact that um, I don't like the sweetness of taking medicine. Although um, for children, we use that because it's easier and in, in, in the form of compliance, um, children like sweet things, most children do. Um, some children don't mind taking a tincture if you put it with some juice or some water. Um, it does not harm a child in any shape, form or fashion to give them a tincture. Some parents don't like that. Some parents like to give their children a glyceride which is perfectly fine. Um, and not all herbs will go um, to, are, are able to be given in the form of a glycerol, but a lot are. And that's not the purpose of this video. But anyway, um, most of your dried herbs and even fresh herbs can be done in the form of uh, alcohol tincture. And just for me, it works really well because it takes, it's the strongest form of um, extracting the medicinal properties from the plant. And so that's why I really, it gets into your bloodstream faster and it really helps um, in, in my case and a lot of other people's experience, um, get you well really quick, gets in your bloodstream really quick and it seems to get you over whatever ails you really quick. And so I really like tinctures. It works really well with me. Uh, I know a lot of people run and get a tincture. They say, I need to get my tincture. I need to get it ready. Um, it stays shelf stable really quickly. A lot of people will get this prepared. Like I'll just use, for example, cold and flu season. I have a lot of cold and flu season um, preparations on my store. And a lot of people will say, I'll take that and they'll boost their immune system. I'll take that and they say, oh, I'm using this for memory. I'm using this for my immune system. I'm using this for heart. I'm using this for whatever, whatever, whatever. And it just works. It just works really well. And I know people all across all different kinds of populations, medical, uh, they'll be in the herbal world. They won't be in the herbal world. They'll be in the business. They'll be in finance. They'll be whatever. They take this because they don't want to drink a tea or they'll drink this because they don't want to take a capsule or it's just easier. You know, they, they have it right there on the desk. They take it, drink some water and go on. They take this because they don't want to take, you know, five or six pills throughout the day. They'll take this two or three times a day and they're done with it. It's just easier and more convenient. A tincture is much more easier than in any other form of medicine. So anyway, it supports the body 
and I just thought, you know, I've got, I've finished doing fever few tincture, which is really good. It's a headache medicine. And um, if you have migraines, it's great for preventing migraines. It's great. Um, just if you have a regular headache, you're a person that gets headaches quite often. It relieves stress. And um, that's what I'm going to be putting on my store shelf next. And I've really worked hard. I always try to get the freshest herbs that I can and I work really hard to keep things um, you know as as orderly keep notes as orderly and do my very best so anyway I'm going to be including this in um, most of my videos so that I don't forget to say it. And um, I hope you guys um, will look in the bottom of my videos, the show more tab underneath the videos and visit my website and um, you can purchase the tinctures there if you are a tincture person. And if not, if you have any questions, I will leave my email address down there. You're always free to ask me questions and you're always free to comment in the comment section or just email me and ask me questions. Hey, Rexana, X, Y, Z. And I'm always glad to answer any questions that you may have. Or if there's a tincture that you would like for me to make for you, I'll be glad to see if I can accommodate you. Okay, you guys, um, I think that's about it. I think that's what I wanted to say. But anything else, uh, you guys just have a great day. And thank you for allowing me this time. Bye for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Blessings. Bye-bye.